Hello programmers! Welcome to C and C++ programming. This discussion covers precedence and associativity of operators in C and C++. Most, but not all, of these operators will be covered in the class. It is very important to understand how the compilers process an expression like this one inside an if statement. If open parentheses x plus 3 is greater than or equal to y times 2 minus 5 close parentheses. We need to know what parts of the expression get evaluated first. Let's start out with a definition of operator and operand. Operators are like verbs indicating that some type of action is going to be performed. Operands are like nouns that identify a piece of data or object in object-oriented programming. The two operators in the expression x equal y plus 7 semicolon are the assignment operator equal sign and the addition operator plus. The operands are x, y, and the number 7. A single character is used for most operators but some have two or more characters such as greater than or equal plus plus colon colon new new. In cases like these you can't break up the operator with spaces in between the characters. Even though I already had been programming for many years before learning the C language, there were just too many things to remember, including the many different levels of precedence. I highly recommend getting a copy of the precedence and associativity chart and either save it on the disk where you can easily find it, or print it out and keep it near you while you write programs in C or C++. I copied this chart from Wikipedia and reformatted it to one page. My updated version can be obtained at program-info.net slash c++ slash precedence.pdf. Don't try to memorize this chart. You will become familiar with the list as you use the different operators in your program. At this point in time, all you need to know is that the math operators multiply, divide, and mod occur before plus and minus. When more than one operator is shown at the same level, they are evaluated in the order shown in the last column in the table, usually from left to right. When we cover the comparison operators, then the less than, less than or equal, greater than, greater than or equal, fall below the math operators and the equal equal and the not equal fall below them. One thing to note is that C++ has redefined the C language bit shift operators less than less than and greater greater to mean extraction and insertion for C in and C out and that they have higher priority than the comparison and logical operators. This is just something that you may need to keep in the back of your mind if you decide to get fancy with C in and C out. The last column shows the associativity of the operators being either left to right or right to left for the order in which side of the operator gets evaluated first. For example, assume that the variable x has already been declared. Then x equal 5 semicolon has only the assignment operator equal sign that is executed from right to left. Anything that needs to be done on the right side of the assignment operator equal sign is done first before the result is stored into the variable x. Here is another example x equal 2 times 3 plus 4 times 5 semicolon. That computes multiplication and division before addition and subtraction. The multiplication operators, star, are at level 5 and occur before the addition operator, plus, which is at level 6. Therefore, the expression is evaluated as 6 plus 20, which becomes 26. All of this is computed before the assignment operator equals at level 16, which takes the value 26 from the right side of the equal sign and stores it into the variable x. Although parentheses on the chart show that they are used for function calls, they can also be used to change the order of operation and are used as part of if and while statements. They can also be used to make an expression easier to read and understand. 
the parentheses here are not needed. But if they make the expression easier to understand for the next reader of the program, then put them in. x equal open parentheses 2 times 3 close parentheses plus 4 times 5 close parentheses. Some operators can have a different meaning depending on how they are used in the program. I see two versions of the auto increment plus plus and auto decrement minus minus. They are covered in a different presentation. The ampersand can mean either address of or bitwise and. These are covered much later in the class. The asterisk star can mean either multiplication or indirection dereference when using pointers. Pointers are covered much later in the class. The plus and minus are binary operators if they occur as part of a math expression such as x equal a plus b minus 7. They are called binary operators when they have a variable or literal on both sides of the operator. The plus and minus are unary operators if they occur by themselves directly after another operator such as x equal minus 5 semicolon. Many languages use the caret or up arrow operator for exponents. However, C, C++, and several other languages use the caret as the bitwise exclusive or operator. C and C++ do not have an operator for exponents, but they can use the exp open parentheses x comma y close parentheses math function to compute x to the power of y. I am never amazed anymore when I learn something new. They snuck a new operator on me called the three-way compare. It looks like a TIE fighter, less than, equal, greater than, from the Star Wars movies. I'm not sure which language it occurred in first, but it is available in Perl, PHP, Groovy, Kotlin, and others. I suspect it made its way into C++ because someone tried to say that C++ was not a modern language because it didn't have the spaceship operator. So here it is. Maybe I will use it someday because it looks cool. This is the end of the discussion on operator precedence and associativity. Probably the most important part of this discussion is the recommendation that you get a copy of the chart and have it available when you program. Whatever you do, don't worry about trying to memorize the chart. The more you program, the relationships of these operators will slowly sink into your brain without you realizing it happened. Bye for now. I'll see you around the galaxy.